Dun da da da! The Daily Mail tutorials. Today's tutorial is da 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 the British flag. All right. To start with, we're gonna start with our red, which is China Glaze Hay Sailor. I'm gonna put a drop of that on my palette. I have already painted my nails with uh, white nail polish. I used Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in white on man. There's no man at the end of it, but um, first I'm going to start off by painting the red cross in the middle of it. So I'm going to paint the um, line, I guess it could be vertical or horizontal, depending on which way you're holding your finger, but let's go with vertical. So I'm going to paint a thick red line, the entire length of my nail down the center of the nail. The bugger on this one is getting it straight. So if you want to use tape, you can use tape. I kind of suck at tape, so I'm not going to use it this time. Plus, it's kind of a pain when you get to the crossbar part. So now we're getting to the crossbar, so I'm going to paint the vertical or horizontal line. In this case, for me, it's horizontal. So gonna get that the basic uh, part of the flag done which is the cro the big red cross in the center of it or crossed lines if you if you will this red polish is a pretty good one it's probably one of my favorite red polishes because it's actually pretty opaque a lot of reds can kind of uh, be um, sheer and kind of look pink over a white but this one holds up pretty well we'll have to do a little bit of another coat in a few minutes so next we're going to do the um kind of the angled lines that go in the uh sections between the cross bars like the quarter the quadrants a lot of people seem to forget these when they do the uh, flag of Great Britain. I'm not sure why. And you don't want to go all the way to the middle red lines because there is a white border in between. So now since the, the main part is dried a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of a second coat on it just to make sure that it's completely opaque. And if you screw up, you just draw another thicker part of the line. That's how I roll. And don't don't worry if you get on your cuticles because I always get paint on my cuticles and you can just take it off with a quick swipe of acetone. So I'm gonna clean my brush real quick and I'm gonna grab my next polish which is Aldo uh, see you in Ibiza. I'm going to put a drop of that on my palette. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to draw the in the spaces between the diagonal lines and the horizontal and vertical lines, there is a royal blue color. So I'm just going to take my uh, nail art brush and I'm going to draw in those little triangles of blue. And as you can see, the flag is starting to kind of take shape. Well, it's the shape of a fingernail, but you get you get the idea. <laughs> it's starting to look more British flaggy. And what Olympic manicure is complete without the British flag? Hello, it's the London Summer Olympics. And finish up our last couple um, triangles. And I'm going to go over the first couple because they were a little sheer when I first started. And see, there you've got your British flag nail. And 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my trusty sesh feet and put a coat of that on there. And there you go. The flag of Great Britain. I am going to take my, uh, uh, it's kind of a flat, stiff bristle brush. I'm going to dip it in acetone and I'm going to clean up my cuticles because as you saw, I got a little bit of red polish on my cuticle and a little bit of sash feet on there too. So, sorry, a little blurry. It's easier for me to get the this with this angle. And you're not even seeing my hand, but that's okay. There we go. And there you go. Great Britain nails to go with your Olympic nails. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you want to see more crazy designs from pickles to pimples to warhols, check out thedailynailblog.com or follow me on Twitter at Daily Nail.